Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Woody's Roundup. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about some rigging, basic rigging techniques. Um, so what I'm going to be looking at is balancing or cradling, as some people call it. Um, there's a few different methods to do this, um, some of them are a bit more complicated than the others. Um, I've picked out three methods that I've found in my experience are the easiest to do. First of all, we've got this one, this setup here. So this here is a spider leg balancer. Um, we sell them here, we make them up. It's simply a hollow braid rope with a large eye splice in it. And basically, as you can see, all you would do is you would take your rigging line, obviously at your put top and your pulley there, bring it down, you tie the end of the rigging line at the base of the branch that you're gonna be lowering um, with a running bowline or however you wanna do it. I've used the running bowline there. Um, <coughs> then what you do is you take your balancer here with this uh, large eye splice here. Obviously, I've already tied it. It would be, take quite a while if I was gonna show you how to do this all from scratch. So you've got a large eye splice here. I've tied a clem heist in here. You could use a prussic knot if you wanted, but I found that a clem heist is more effective. Take the clem heist here and then you run it down and you tie it to the other end of the branch there that you want to, you know, the other end of the branch basically. I've used a clove hitch there, but again, you could use a running bowline or, or whatever you want really. And the beauty of this is that, so then when the load is suspended, as you can see, it's balanced nice and, nice and evenly. So obviously the benefit of having the load suspended like this is you've got far more control over what you're lowering. Um, you know, if you've got a target underneath, you know, quite close to underneath the branch that you're rigging, you can you can rig it like this without any drop in the branch at all, as opposed to if you're butt tying or tip tying. You could also put, you know, put the you know the main benefit is you can put a directional felling cut in at the base here, swing it away from the, the target and then drop it down. So right, so the next one we've got is <coughs> I've obviously got all these pre-tied. This is another one that I was taught when I was climbing. This is again another real simple one. So basically what we've got here is a short section of rigging line here. Um, you know, you can have them in various lengths in your rigging kit. A couple of running bowlines each end or clove hitches, timber hitches, whatever you want to do, um, as long as it's you know, suitable. <coughs> and then a prussic knot in the middle, a prussic loop in the middle. Obviously, just make sure that the ropes and the, the, the loops and things that you're using are all rated you know, correctly to what you're rigging. I've just made this up myself quickly just for just for the video. So uh, three wrap prussic I find works best. And then all you do is literally like that. So you put running bowline, running bowline, prussic in the middle. You have your termination with your carabiner on your rigging line. Clip that in as such. And then, and then away we go. It works exactly so similar sort of similar sort of theory as the as the as spider leg balancer. Um, you know, there you go. Does exactly what it what it what it's what it's supposed to do, and then the final one we've got is actually a pre-made one that you can buy from us, a company called Shizzle. They make lots of lots of cool rigging gear, and this one is this this is their Easy Balancing System. Now it looks quite complex, but it is quite simple really. So what they've got is again they've got a, a rigging line here that runs through this spider plate with a steel carabiner and they've got their fancy sort of hitch system here. So really good actually. So it's all comes all pre-set up and basically what you do um, is you would obviously have this clipped in to the end of your rigging line or if you've got a splice in there in the rigging line either way, just hitch that up. And then again, running bowling, running bowling or timber hitch, clove hitch, whatever you want to do. And then you can, what you can do is obviously just pull these through here, through the hitches there, to make it either shorter on either end, shorter or longer on either end to get your balance right. And obviously I've just daisy chained the excess up there, but you know, that's pretty much good to go. So the benefit to all of these systems really is, is that they're adjustable. So obviously the old school, traditional way of doing the balance was basically to have it, do it with the end of your rigging line. Um, it's quite, I found it quite tricky and takes a bit of practice because you've got to make sure you're getting the right amount of slack through the rope to then tie your hitches either end and then come back up and tie either the taut line hitch or the, or the, um, uh, or the Blake's hitch or the prussic knot or anything on there. So again, the benefit of these is they're fully adjustable and they're nice and easy. So, you know, if you find that it's not, you know, if you think that the balance isn't going to be right on one side, you can just pull it up a little bit, 
um, you know, or, or, or drop it down a little bit, like so, so that you get the perfect balance. Same, same, same with this one here. All you would do, obviously, is just move that prusik knot either way um, to get your, you know, your, your perfect apex so that you get a nice balance. Again, similar, same sort of thing with the spider leg. So, you know, if you feel that you're, you're not balanced, you can either move this up or down. This is probably my favourite because it's the most simple. Um, and also another cool thing with the spider legs is that if you've got uh, a forked branch, you know, so you've got you know, this forks off into three, you can actually add a number of different balances onto this. So you can have another one on top of here coming down to the, the fork there to make it, you know, really keep it nice and balanced. So, so that's all, all for today, um, you know. Uh, all these can be bought from us. Obviously, this we sell these. We sell the chisel, the, the balancer kit. So yeah, um, stay safe, everyone, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.